Well, hello, friends. Mark Holmes here with my buddy Cowboy Joe Boo, as well as Joe Bear in the house. And as always, I want to thank you guys for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, this literally, literally does not work. Um, I'm sitting here waiting. I've actually done my morning video, and I'm waiting for it to finish uploading before I get out of here. And I thought I'd work on something because I saw, oh, my God, this was hilarious. Uh, I'm sure the YouTube police will get me, but I got to show this. This is, uh, we always, I, I, it's been my premise that Carson Wentz gets coddled. We always are told about Carson Wentz. They always pump him up. With Dak Prescott, they were always bringing him down. You know, one of the things that they say about a franchise quarterback is they elevate the people around them. They make them better than what they are. They give them hope, right? And it's my premise that when you look at the Cowboys offense right now, that, you know, we put Andy Dalton in and we were told, well, Andy Dalton, you know, he's never had the weapons that Dak Prescott had. And, you know, he's going to thrive. You know, he's going to make Dak Prescott look like trash, that he'll be able to look off the safety. You know, he'll be able to hit guys in stride. That, in fact, that the offense might be better with Andy Dalton than Dak Prescott. Well, we've learned that's not the case. So, when we hear about Carson Wentz, Carson Wentz, you know, we always hear about that 2017 season. He was an MVP candidate, they, that he's got a Super Bowl ring. I, I dare say that he does have a ring, but Nick Foles did the heavy lifting in the playoffs and onto the Super Bowl. And if Carson Wentz was so good, why was it that Nick Foles was able to continue what that team was doing? Are we saying Nick Foles is as good as Carson Wentz? Well, I'll leave that up for debate. But I dare say that, oh, I'll tell you what, let me play this clip because this clip to me is the epitome of exactly how they try to convince you of things that aren't there, that literally they're baffling you with bullshit. Let's listen to this, okay? Listen to Acho, who, who's in the tank for Carson Wentz. I mean, can you from my, from it? this way, so let me drop a fact on y'all. Um, All is well with Carson Wentz that ends well. He is best when his back is against the wall. I got a full screen because you might not believe me. Oh, Look at go. Carson Wentz wait, in wait. the second half since week five against the Steelers, against the Ravens, against the Giants went down, against the Cowboys. Oh, does that say he's first in passing touchdowns in the second oh. half? Does that say he's first in passing it, push rush down? Does that say he's second in second. passing in rush? Does that say his team is third in points per game when he's trailing? So, yes. Carson Wentz does push you into the ditch. I'm not sitting here <laughs> lying to you, Cell. Mm. I'm not lying oh, to you, Bucky. Boy. He pushes you into the ditch. But you know what else he does? Hey, mm. let me lend you a hand. Oh, I'm really? going to get you out. <laughs> hey, lend you a hand. You got some of that trash juice on that suit. That's what's going on right here. You ain't trash recognizing juice. who's the culprit. Talking about it, it, it ends well with Carson Wentz. No, it doesn't. Put up his January stats if it ends well for Carson Wentz. Oh, we're only going to see one quarter of production all the years he's been in the league and only one pass completion. So it doesn't end well for you, Acho. And one more thing. Uh oh, here we go. Here we go. Money here talk. we go. $50 maximums is a lot of money for a lot of people out there. I think that money getting to you, Acho. You said it wasn't <laughs> getting to you, but I digress. Let's talk about who Carson Wentz really is because. The only way you really understand how bad he's playing is to have perspective. You hear the Ooh. name Carson Wentz, and we all get enamored. We all go back to 2017 and think about that. We all Ooh. also look at this franchise as winning the Super Bowl with a lot of contributions in the regular mm -hmm. season from that same Carson Wentz. But I'm going to Jack Acho, who jacks Colin Coward, and give you a blind resume for perspective Ooh. of who Carson Wentz is really is. Look at this. That's Carson Wentz on the left. 15 to 27, 123, two touchdowns, two interceptions, 61 passer rating, four times sack. Yep. Somebody outplayed him on the right. Ooh. I wonder who that could be because his passer rating is higher. Let's see who that could be. Did <laughs> then and then. Danucci <laughs> <Ben, laughs> man. man up in there. Danucci <laughs> man went out there and outperformed Carson Wentz. But that's not even the most glaring statistical comparison. Look at the bottom. Carson Wentz makes $32 million a year. <sighs> Danucci Main only makes 147 k k k k a thousands. Can I answer you this, Acho? Without even asking you this. I'm going to answer you this. Do you know that Carson Wentz makes twice as much as Danucci Main plus change every <laughs> single week, week of the year? Then Danucci Main makes in the entire year. Wait oh. a minute. I get 2x plus 
what you get in a year every week to get outperformed oh. by you against the worst defense in NFL history? Acho, please retort. I oh. mean, one, I can, to a degree, feel Danucci, because I looked at your checks, Marcellus, okay? Oh. And uh, I'm getting paid a little less to outperform you. Okay. All right. So be, be that as it may, here's my thing. When we talk about a quarterback elevating the players around him, you can say that Carson Wentz does that. That is one of the, uh, the, the things that they say a real quarterback elevates the players around them, right? And I have to agree. Carson Wentz elevates the players around him because when we look at, let, let's go here. Let, let's just go here for a second, okay? What's amazing to me is, D-Law going into that game, D-Law on the season had one sack and one forced fumble, right? Check it out. D-Law tripled his sack number. He got two sacks on Carson Wentz. He got a tackle for a loss. He got a forced fumble. He doubled his forced fumbles. Right there, Carson Wentz elevated D-Law's play. But wait, there's more. We're talking about a Dallas Cowboys defense that had going into this game in seven weeks had one interception. One interception on the season. Period. Period. They got two. Two interceptions in fact we had cowboy fans who have been constantly talking about Diggs. he's a bust he's a waste of talent he's no good well i tell you what you made Diggs look really good you elevated him by thrusting two interceptions to him two so you definitely elevated Diggs and d-law but wait there's more carson wentz not only elevated to Marcus Lawrence. He not only elevated Diggs directly, he elevated the Dallas Cowboys defense. Think about this. A Dallas Cowboys defense that's been getting eaten up by everybody. I mean, everybody. Amazingly enough, we only averaged giving up going to that game uh, about 226 yards of passing. On the ground, we literally got destroyed. Carson Wentz elevated our Dallas Cowboys defense to the point where I'm actually doing videos saying maybe our defense isn't quite that bad. Maybe we're not that far away. Maybe if we get a couple of pieces, we can actually compete because my defensive line, they look like they got pressure. They stopped the running game. They put pressure on the quarterback. They got, what, three sacks? Four sacks. Four sacks. Four sacks, two interceptions, two fumbles. And all of a sudden you say, hey, they, they, they look a little, they, they, they kind of look 85 bearish. I, I'm, I, am I wrong? Carson Wentz elevates the players around him, just not on his own team. He elevated the Dallas Cowboys defense where you really felt, you know what, I feel a little bit better. So it's amazing to me because I, I want you to think about this. I want you to think about this. The Dallas Cowboys defense, which has been slump busters for everybody, a team that literally is giving up, you know, 33 points was 33 points to the Giants, a team that gave up 28 to the Washington team with Kyle Allen, a team that literally – the Browns blew away, scored, what, 48? That the offense for the, the, the Eagles scored 15 points against the Dallas Cowboys defense. That Carson Wentz QBR in that game was 29.6. So when you talk about Carson Wentz and elevating players around him, he definitely does that one. I know I'm going to get a whole lot of hate, but then again, Eagle fans, convince me that Carson Wentz is an elite quarterback. I say he's not. Change my mind. Peace out.